back to my channel and it is hollow weekend I feel like I've never truly experienced a hollow weekend if you will because at Georgia we go down to Jacksonville, Florida for the Florida Georgia game every Halloween weekend and we like dress up in costumes on the Saturday of the game. So it's been a minute since I've truly celebrated Halloween. So I'm really, really excited. It's Thursday today. We're vlogging Hollow Weekend. I just, I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. I honestly have some pretty fun plans I'm excited to take you guys on. We have three costumes planned. Tonight we have something, tomorrow we have something, and Saturday we have something. And I'm gonna take you guys along through it all. But first, it wouldn't be the start of a weekend, truly, if we didn't go to Dry Bar. Hair is done, it'll fall by Later, which is perfect, I'm going for some like beachy waves. It'll make sense when you guys know what my costume is, so. Currently snacking on some berries. Oh, I gotta light that candle. I'm constantly playing autumn jazz on Spotify on my speaker. Got the autumn hayride candle going. I'm about to hop on a meeting with my financial advisor and my mom, she's joining as well. Looking forward to that. Also, I switched the pictures on my little gray Malin book. What do we think? I love them. Looks pretty. My financial advisor is gonna be like, wow, you got your hair done for the meeting. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the curls to fall, but. And after this meeting, I will tell you guys who I'm being following. I don't know why I'm keeping you guys waiting. Also, by the time this vlog is up, you would already know. But, you know, gotta keep the suspense, right? Oh, hey. Hello. Here. What's up, girl? Just doing a little financial planning with you. I know. <laughs> Just finished my meeting. I ordered some pliables. I'm so excited. These are the best bowls ever. I first had them in New Jersey when I visited daily, and I'm obsessed now. And I found out there's one in New York. All right. I am so hungry. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I got the green base, and then I get pineapple, strawberry, add kiwi. And I asked for, and granola, and I asked for honey, but I can't tell if there's any honey on top. Let's see. I hope so. The honey, like, makes it. I don't think so. This happened last time, too. Oh, no, there's the honey. Oh, that's so good. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I just got a PR package in from Bobby Brown. They sent the cutest stuff. I love Bobby Brown. Follow me on Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn. That's where I do all of my PR hauls. I have never tried Levon Bakery cookies, so I kind of want to try one right now. I feel like I should heat this up because I feel like when I see the photos, people like break it apart. I'm gonna put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. Ta-da! Oh yes, let's try this out. I feel like Emily Mariko. <laughs> All right, let's do this little thing. Woo, my goodness! Maybe I did it too long, but I don't care. Melted chocolate. Oh. oh my God, should I try it? Whole hot love, so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. So I have been running around with my chicken with my chicken cut off. No, that what's the saying? I've been running around with a, I've been running around like a chicken with his head cut off. That's it. So we are going to start the getting ready process for tonight. I am just so excited to kind of give you guys the lowdown of the costumes for the weekend what I'm doing tonight, just the whole nine yards so that the rest of the vlog is not confusing. I like to do this. Um, I'm also trying out this Bobbi Brown all-in-one primer and moisturizer. Pretty pumped about this. I have no idea how much to use. Um, oh, that's definitely probably too much. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. So I was just opening some PR boxes up, getting to some emails. I'm trying to get a video up today, just waiting on a brand to approve it. I literally hate not posting on the right days. I feel like so bad, but you guys are so sweet and patient. But so right now I'm getting ready. We're about to have a really fun night. It is Thursday night and we are starting the Halloween festivities tonight. But before that, I actually, so one of my best friends from high school, Mary Steven, I'm really close with her family. And she lives here, obviously her and Morgan, two of my best friends. And her parents are coming to town this weekend and surprised us with tickets to go see Six on Broadway tonight and go to dinner before. I am. So excited, one, because I love that family so much and I'm so excited to see her parents and them, obviously. And then to go see a Broadway show, like it's got to be the best night ever. I'm so thankful. A bit of a gal on the go night because then after that, I'm going to head over to my friend Meg and Audrey's 
Party. They are also known as the VIP list. They make the really cool TikToks about what restaurants to go to. They're the kindest, sweetest girls, and I am so pumped to go. Costumes. Tonight, with Brooke, we're doing Angel and Devil. I'm the angel, she's the devil. Tomorrow night, we're doing Serena and Blair, you guys. That is why I got my hair curled, but we decided to switch it up. So tomorrow night, we are doing Serena and Blair. It just simply had to happen. You guys comment on every form of social media, on TikTok, Instagram, everything that we need to be Serena and Blair. So Brooke's gonna be Blair, obviously, I'm Serena. So I got the Mai Tai at Dry Bar today because she's known for like her super beachy wavy curls and I'm gonna brush my fingers through them and uh, make them more disheveled. But it kind of works out better because we decided to be Serena and Blair tomorrow night instead of tonight since I'm gonna be like rushing and we wanna get good photos and like do the whole iconic thing. Tomorrow my hair will be more messy anyways. So I'm really, really, really excited and I can't wait to honestly post on Instagram because I feel like everyone's gonna be like, yes, this is iconic. Um, Cause like I live in New York now, she's here and it's Gossip Girl. I already have like a caption I wanna do in my head. I wanna say like, you know you love us, XOXO, gals on the go, or something like that. I don't know, I'm still thinking. I uh, wanna make some TikToks too, just have some fun with it. Also, love this Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. So amazing. And the spray tan's looking good, I'm happy with it. Um, so yeah, tonight Angel Devil, tomorrow Blair and Serena. And then Saturday night is, um, I'm doing my own costume Saturday night. I'm going to be Cruella DeVille. I saw it on TikTok and I loved the idea. I haven't even tried on the full costume yet, but I'm basically like doing the black and white wig, red gloves, I have a cigarette holder, black dress with like a faux fur shawl thing, good makeup. I'm actually getting my makeup done that day because we have a really cool party that night. So yeah, I'm really thankful. I've never done Hollow Weekend before, like I was saying, so I'm really, really excited. I think that's why I'm going all out. I've never had this many like costume stuff to prepare for in my life, but I'm here for it. I'm so excited to see all my friends tonight and hopefully meet some new people. I'm just, I'm just so excited. It's called the Halloween ball and it's once upon a time themed, but I'm not really going with the theme. I didn't, I didn't realize that right away, but it's at this restaurant, I believe called Julan. And yeah, so I'm meeting Brooke there. So hopefully we'll get some good pictures when we're there, but I'm really looking forward to it. And tomorrow we have some fun stuff, Saturday, I mean, it's a jam-packed weekend, so you guys are gonna really like this vlog. So that's kind of the lay of the land. I'm gonna start playing some music, get pumped for the night, and I think I'm actually gonna try on my angel costume. What time is it? Yes, hopefully quickly. I have like 50 minutes. I'm gonna try on my angel costume here before I leave just to make sure it looked good because I have not tried it on yet, and I'll show it to you guys so you can see it in full because later I feel like it's gonna be very like, okay, here's my costume, bye. So hopefully I didn't stress you guys all out. That's just how I work, chaotic energy. I'm gonna keep getting ready. I'll see you guys soon. All right, here are the accessories I have for my Halloween costume tonight. We have the angel halo, angel wings, and these face jewels, which may or may not be applied depending on how I can do in the Uber or in the theater bathroom. And then I'm gonna wear a white dress, which I need to grab. It's perfect because I got this dress over the summer, never got to wear it. And this is the perfect time too. So it's this dress, it's like a cowl neck in the front and then a low back. So I think that's gonna be perfect. And then I just need to figure out my shoes, probably my white platform shoes. Okay guys, quick break of getting ready because I just figured out how to get Trader Joe's delivered. Because if you know, Trader Joe's is not on Instacart or any of those delivery websites, but I Googled it and people said there's this app called Dumpling. It's still like in the beta situation. It's definitely a newer app, but I am obsessed. Basically you like hire a personal grocery shopper and they go wherever you want. So they do have Trader Joe's on there and I wrote down exactly what I want and they would text me and say like, hey, what did you mean by this? Cause it is a little bit more different. Like Trader Joe's isn't affiliated, but I got groceries. I didn't have time to go get them. So I'm so excited. And I've been wanting Trader Joe's for so long but they're never on grocery delivery. So I thought I'd shout out. Um, I guess we'll do a quick little grocery haul. I have like no time. This is hilarious. All right, quick little Trader Joe's haul. I am so excited. Can't believe this is the thing. Wow, love New York City. Three Trilogy kombuchas, my favorite. Apples are an amazing snack. I love just getting a bag of apples. Gonna try the Trader Joe's coffee cups. Five ginger shots. These are so delicious and I'm running low. Chicken gyoza pot stickers. I put them in the freezer. They're so delicious with soy sauce. Baby carrots, of course. Craving some pumpkin seeds because Delaney and I used to make them. So I didn't make them, but same idea. Eggs. 
two of these black bean burritos, gluten-free pretzels. This is an amazing snack. Brooke showed it to me years ago with the spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. So good. Sourdough bread, everything bagels, jasmine rice, broccoli, chicken fried rice, and some bananas. That is the Trader Joe's haul. These are some of my favorite things to get from there, and I'm so happy to have a little restock. All right, what do we think? Feeling angelic. I really wish I could just wear this to the show, but probably not. You guys can't even see my halo. This dress is from Revolve. I'm obsessed with it. I will link everything I can down below, down to the accessories. I feel so good in it. I feel so cute. It's so basic, but honestly, nothing's original anymore. Sorry for the chaotic energy. Okay, so I have my whole angel outfit packed in a bag. This isn't my cutest outfit ever, but it just, I don't want to bring another pair of shoes, so I'm going to wear these. Use this bag. It's from Stodd, by the way. It's so cute because I have like all the silver accessories, so I feel like that's perfect. I am wearing gold hoops, though. This black midi dress is from Kuyana. It's so perfect. I literally got in the mail today. I love a midi dress. Leather jacket over top. I feel like this works. It's perfect. And yeah, then I'll just bring my tote bag and change there. So, but I did get a couple pictures in the outfit because I'm psycho. Anyways, let's go eat some good Italian dinner. Hang out with my family, my family, basically they're my family, and go to the show, and then the party. Okay, I need to take a deep breath. I have like a 20 minute Uber ride, so I'm just gonna like relax. I'm gonna bring a ginger shot to go. Okay, let's go. on the MF go. <laughs> I've got a paint can right here. I see you have a ginger shot packed. Oh, of course. You can see the paint can. There's a paint can there. We are headed to the office. We have a big day of deliveries. Um, we're getting our table and rug today, right? Yes. Yeah. Which is honestly a good starting point. I wish we were getting the chairs too, because we could like I know. sit in there. I was gonna say, or the couch or something. Or yeah, the couch. We could sit on. I know. Yeah, we start. We got all of our orders in, so they're all coming, and we're also bringing in our paint color for the walls because they are going to paint the walls for us, or one wall, one statement. And then wall. the rest will be white. I think yes, the rest do. will be white, yeah. and then a pop of color for like where we're going to film the podcast. It's so good, guys. So it's good. so good. And then, for, so we're gonna work at our office for a while while we're waiting for the deliveries. And then we're headed to the Upper East Side to take our Gossip Girl photos. Did you tell them already? I did tell them yesterday. Oh, okay. I gave them like the lowdown for the week. Oh, smart. Yes. So Brooke's looking like a snack today. Oh, you guys, it's a big beanie day. <laughs> I can't believe that I got my blowout yesterday. I just fell. I know. Did Medium. you bring your curling iron? Yes. Of course, oh, good. Of so yeah, we're headed there. Let's go. Guys, we have a sign. <sighs> Looks so good. So good. I'm just waiting on our furniture. Right now. I, need a I was like, should we have a little slumber party? <laughs> it honestly is bigger when you sit on the floor, it feels bigger than it feels bigger when you sit on the floor for sure. So we'll just sit on the floor from yeah. now on. <laughs> got some deliveries. More than we expected actually. We got our dining chairs, we got a fan, we got a little martini table that's gonna go like near the couch for us to put our coffees. And yeah, so someone told us to try out the Balthazar Bakery and it was so cute. I literally felt like I was in Disney World there. It was adorable. It was like playing like French music. So Brooke got a croissant. Yeah, a cup. I got a little fruit cup. Oh, that looks like a good assortment of fruit. Mm -hmm. You're welcome to try. And uh, I got a big fruit gal. Big fruit gal. A little toasty. I should have some good this. Oh, they didn't? Um, but I didn't, I wasn't sure how long that would take. And I was like, oh, that's okay, buddy. 
Anyways, we're just chilling, waiting for our next delivery. <laughs> All right, table is here. I'm Brooke just, is putting. She has me put. <laughs> Brooke, I like am finishing up a video, and Brooke was like, "I know how to do the chairs." I was like, "Okay, queen, go off." Um, Pink well, chairs. Gonna it's gonna be room. nice to work on this table. Really, really nice. Like it is so perfect. Love it. Workstation. Guys, we have the chair in the corner. It looks so good. We got a pink fan. So cute. Got pink outlet, pink chargers. So on brand for guys on the go. I love this so, light. It's so, it's, so, it's like a millennial pink. It's so cute. These chairs are awesome. They're so comfortable. I'm so excited. So the couch is going to go here. Rug here. Sign there. It's going to be great. This is seriously such a vibe. And we have this table. This is where we're gonna put like our coffee and stuff when we record. So beautiful. Oh wow, we can take little pictures. I know. Hello, New York. <laughs> All right, I just got lunch. I went back to Balthazar Cafe. It's so great. I got a chicken Caesar salad and it comes with bread and butter. I mean, there we go. And I got this green juice. I was eyeing it earlier. Brooke's getting ready. I'm about to start getting ready. Woo. Doing the makeup. Our friend Kyla is coming to help take pictures. She's the best. We decided we're gonna take the photos in Soho because it would take 40 minutes to get to Upper East Side. And Brooke had the appointment. We could just take photos in front of Chanel. Like, it'll be really cool. Also, if you guys didn't know, I'm working with Fireball. I'm so excited. I just posted that picture. Ryan got in the photo with me. So fun since Ryan's not here, we did these costumes together. Oh, you guys saw that in the vlog. Yeah, so lots of costumes, it's a fun weekend. Brooke's playing a good playlist, like everything's good in the world. Anyways, we're just gonna continue to get ready. We're realizing we need a mirror in the office, so Brooke is... I just primed Did one. you do it already? Yeah. She prime ordered it, I love it. I just was like getting so frustrated, guys. Like, I was like, oh, I can't see my She was face. like, I'm literally in the middle of doing makeup. She's like, I'm ordering it right now. And I was like, I love that. So I was just so frustrated. Like, I like to, yeah. you know how it is oh, when yeah. you can't really get a good look. Absolutely. All right, guys, gonna do makeup. I'll show you guys the costumes. Oh, this lighting's great. All right, guys, we just got ready to take pictures. Honestly, we look like Sharon Blair, I think, loosely. I looked up a YouTube video, how to tie a tie. Our neighbors are like, what are these girls doing? We've done like, we've assembled furniture, gotten in costume, vlogged, yeah. like we're being so random. But here's my little outfit. We're gonna like change out of it and then change back into it tonight, but I will link everything below. It's all from Amazon. We both got the same shirts and the same skirts. Loose tie, cause I'm obviously Serena, disheveled hair, hoop earrings, and then I went for the black tall boots, which are from Vince Camuto. I will link them below. Guys, look at Blair right now. Oh, she's, she's, changing, oh, she's changing into heels, don't worry. We're just we're walking. Yeah, yeah, just for walking purposes. Um, it's very like, it reminds me of high school. Your lips look good. Did you like overline? Really? They look so good. Uh, maybe I did it. Well, no, I in a good way. They look the, mirror. the headband is from Revolve. Yes. Gosh, you look good. stunning. Oh my god. Stunning. Blair and Serena. It's actually a pretty great costume. I think we really Blondes and it brunettes. I feel like this is a great costume. I know. <laughs> Guys, Kyla is Hello. our angel. <laughs> Also look how cute her guys. fit is. Oh my gosh, stop it. She's the sweetest. She just we just really got the gossip girl content oh, in. So amazing. happy. We took photos, TikToks, disposables, videos. So cool. Yay! Alright guys, today's been such a chaotic day. Um, but like is it a Danielle vlog if it's not, you know? Feeling good though. We got so much office furniture, more than we were expecting today. A lot was like just in the regular mail in the package room. We felt so bad it had been waiting there for a while. We had no idea. We got the table, we got the other mini table, our chairs, and then Kyla came. We, we literally like changed at our office, rocked around Soho, got some great photos, some TikToks, it was so fun. And now we're back, it's only like five o'clock. It feels a lot later. And tonight our friend Katie, Katie Velotti, her birthday is right around Halloween. So she's having a Halloween party tonight at Miss You. She like rented out the bar. I am so pumped. I think it's gonna be so much fun. And so many of our friends are going. Um, and then before that, we're gonna pop by the paper magazine party. Um, it starts at the same time as Katie's. So we're just gonna like go there really quick and then go to Katie's. So I'm really pumped. Or we're pregame at Katie's first actually. So 
bopping around. I'm just so thankful. Days like today, I'm like, I cannot believe this is my life and I am so grateful for you guys. Literally, Brooke and I walked outside and we met some of you guys. It was so cool. She was literally our, my giveaway winner for my Doing Well Daily Planner last year. So it was just so cool to meet them. They were in from out of town for the week. Like, I just love meeting you guys. So whenever you see us, please say hi. I have about like three hours to make dinner, chill, like relax. So I think I'm gonna take all my makeup off, honestly, put on a podcast, clean my apartment, cause I I kind of just left it a mess earlier and I find that relaxing and make some dinner and just prepare myself for the rest of the weekend in a good way um but yeah and last night was so much fun I don't even know if I vlogged that so much fun I literally had one drink I had a bay breeze so thank you all for recommending that it was orange juice cranberry juice and vodka so delicious it was so fun I didn't even like I don't know I don't always like need alcohol I don't need alcohol to have fun so it was a good time and yeah tonight's fireball night though tonight is fireball night <laughs> dinner i'm cooking some broccoli i'm like obsessed with broccoli lately it's not a bad thing to be obsessed with right and then i had some penne that i'm gonna make some penne pasta with tomato sauce pretty basic pretty typical danielle meal but hey i'm not eating out so that's all that matters right guys a perfect well-balanced meal i'm so happy <laughs> I am not good at doing makeup, I don't think, but I really like my makeup. I'm so glad I redid it. <laughs> I think it's the lips. I don't really know, and I think it just took more time. I tight-lined my um, eyes, you guys. So it's like where you lift your lids a little bit and like tight-line with the eyeliner like under your lashes. I used to do that when I was younger. Forgot about it. And then I used like a dark pink, nudie pink to lip line, like overline. And then I used this Bobbi Brown gloss on spray. I don't know, it came in like a little set. Crushed oil infused gloss. This color, obsessed. And like I was saying earlier, the beauty of Serena Vanderwitzen is her hair is super messy. So I'm going to truly embody that. I'm gonna put some hairspray on, brush through my hair a little bit, and then I'm gonna put my costume. Ah! Serena Vanderwoodson has arrived. <laughs> she's been here earlier today and now she's back. I wanna show you guys my outfit. You guys saw it earlier, but pretty much same thing. I decided to tuck it in the front a little, just a little more flattering. So excited. Um, drinking kombucha right now. I'm gonna take a, a ginger shot. Oh, I need to pack a bag of baby carrots to chase fireball with for the pregame. For the pregame, not before the pregame. All right, cheers. Happy Halloween, everybody. Hope you're all being safe. This is going up literally a week late. That feels great, woo! Oh, that made me sneeze. Excuse me, oh, I do need to blow up these candles, actually. All right, I'm about to meet up with Brooke, go to Katie's pregame, go to the paper magazine party, and then Katie's party, and have fun. I'm gonna try and vlog as much as I can. Love you guys, and See you soon. Here with the birthday queen. Guys, look at her outfit. Right. It's giving a chair. We got a living room chair. It's giving a chair. It's giving chair. I love it, dude. <laughs> Good morning! Literally cracked my eyes open and go puffed Powerade and Gatorade. Today is a big day. It is game day. Georgia Bulldogs are playing at 3.30 today against Florida, UF. It's the Georgia Florida game. If I was still in college, this would be an even bigger deal. You'd go down to Jacksonville for the whole nine yards. Not going to the UGA bar though, because I've talked about this before, I'm not a big day and night drinker. I'm, I'm literally so excited for that game, but Brooke and I are just gonna watch it together. And then um, the Braves are playing tonight, so 
so I'll be like kind of watching that on my phone. I'm not like the biggest Braves fan ever, don't call me a bandwagon fan, but I did for four years go to Braves games. It was a big thing when you went to Georgia to go to Braves games, so I feel like I'm kind of like, whoa, yeah, go Braves. And then also, um, there's one last Halloween party tonight. Apparently people are doing stuff tomorrow too. I simply will not be. If anything, I'll like walk around and like, I wanna like walk around the West Village and watch little kids trick or treat. Is that creepy? Maybe, I don't know. Tonight we're going to this Halloween party at Cipriani. I'm so excited. It's at the Cipriani on Wall Street. It's so beautiful. It's honestly so bougie. I'm so pumped about it. Medusa's performing. He's an awesome DJ. There's gonna be Cipriani food there. Very, very excited. Um, and that's like kind of like a little New York girl group going. So me, Brooke, Margo, Katie, Kit, Ruby. I think the VIP list girls are going. Serena, that vibe. I may or may not be hosting them here beforehand. Trying to figure that out, that out. I just pitched the idea of like maybe going to a fun dinner before. I don't really know. But tonight I'm being Cruella de Vil. I'm so excited. I have not tried on this wig yet. And a lot of people were Cruella de Vil this year so far because it was so popular on TikTok and the movie came out. And a lot of people like put on the wig and it didn't look very good. But I got the wig with bangs and I feel like that one looks a little better. Wigs with bangs in general, I feel like, look good. That's the vibe for tonight. Brooke and I are having Kat do our makeup today. She is awesome. Cam.artistry on Instagram. She crushes it. And I kind of want to do some fun green makeup for Corella DeVille tonight. So that'll be fun. So I think we're going to be like watching the Georgia game when we're getting our makeup done. But why not? Um, my hair is still holding up. Too bad I have to put a wig on tonight. Um, there's a chance this wig looks really bad though, and I have to like find little streaks in my hair to do instead. I saw some people did that for Corella DeVille as well. Last night was so much fun. I had a blast. Katie looked absolutely stunning as Cher. I think I got some vlog clips. I didn't stay out too, too late. I came back at like one-ish, um, which is early for New York City. And I went to bed and I slept in. So yeah. But now I have the rest or the whole day pretty much to chill. We're getting your makeup done starting at four at Brooke's apartment. So Brooke will probably go first. So I might not get there right at four, I'm not sure yet. I'm feeling a bagel this fine morning. Thank God for these Trader Joe's bagels. And I'm just gonna chill, I'm gonna clean, figure out the plan for tonight because if I am having people here, I need to clean even more. But just like relax and recharge. That's been how, that's kind of like my ideal Saturday, honestly. I know Saturday is like, oh, it's Saturday, but I love spending Saturday morning until like three, four o'clock to myself. I think that's just a really nice thing. So without further ado, let the morning montage begin. <laughs> Okay, so I was waiting till I got my couch to start you season three because I'm like so excited. But it's a Saturday morning. I'm ready to start you season one or you, you season three, episode one. I'm so nervous, but excited. Let's do this. Wow. I'm going to go all out bringing my pillows from my bedroom <laughs> so it's easier to lay back. A little day bed, if you will. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so I got this package from Bobby Brown. I was telling you guys about one of the things was this eye thing that I assume is supposed to be cold, so I put it in the freezer last night. Whoa, <laughs> that's really cold on my eyelids. <laughs> I should like, oh, this is dumb. I can't wear this while I watch TV, but I thought I'd take a quick intermission. I was thinking about it. Okay, this won't work for watching Netflix, but that is really cool if your eyes are super puffy when you wake up, genius. I think I'm gonna put on a face mask and go to town with my jade roller. We're gonna do this honey nourishing mask. Whew, this headband is awesome too. It's from that brand Kitsch. I feel like I'm at a spa right now. Spooky for Halloween, right? Fitting it to your face is always the hardest. Like it just never is perfect. That's okay. Oh, this one's gonna be good, I just feel it. I feel like I wanna put on lip balm too. This is the beauty counter lip balm. And then I'm gonna sit and continue watching Netflix while just rolling it into my face because that feels productive. This is definitely a common thing I do on Saturdays for whatever reason.
moment of truth, I want to test out this wig before tonight. <laughs> I'm so nervous. This one has bangs. Hopefully that'll help. Are. Sometimes the bangs are too long though. I guess they can be curtain bangs. Oh fam, I don't know. Okay, how do I, do I have to cut these bangs? Like what do I? <gasps> Guys, I don't think I can do this. <laughs> oh no. I need to put like rollers in the bangs so they stay out of my face. Maybe my weight cap's just too... I don't know. I feel like once I have makeup on it'll look better, but like this is not necessarily like getting me so hype. <laughs> I wish I got the straight one. I feel like the outfit doesn't make sense unless I have the wig, so we're just gonna do it. It's getting better, I'm taming it. I'm taming it. It is almost game time, you guys, let's get it. My game day watching vibe. <laughs> very different than probably a lot of other people today, but I am very content with this. Let's go, hold on. I'm sorry to any Florida fans, but you're going down. I hope I don't regret saying that when this is edited. <laughs> and no, I'm not just doing this for the vlog. Like, this will be me all game. I want Biggie Georgia Bulldog. Ah! Oh, gators. Never mind. All right, packing my bag to go over to Brooks. I'm gonna finish watching the game there. Everything you see right here is literally from Amazon. I got this beautiful black body con dress. It's so flattering on from Amazon. I'll link all this below. Red gloves, the black and white wig, this like faux fur shawl, little cigarette holder, and then I think I'm gonna wear these boots. So I'm just putting everything in my bag because I'm gonna get dressed there and then we're gonna like go to the event from her apartment. And that's a touchdown, let's go dogs. All right, it's halftime now, and the dogs are now winning by three touchdowns, so we love that for us. I was just waiting for the half to end. I'm gonna watch the rest of the game at Brooke's apartment. She's getting her makeup done now. I feel so good, I cleaned, so now when I get home tonight, I'm just gonna tuck myself in my little bed. And yeah, I'm excited to get my makeup done. I did Uber Eats Chick-fil-A because it only felt right to watch football and eat Chick-fil-A. Here's my little outfit just to get my makeup done in. I'm going to um, bring like a little jacket or flannel or something as well. But yeah, let's go. All right, we're in the studio. <laughs> Kat is here, our queen per usual. Happy Halloween. We've got the Georgia game on while well, it's halftime right now. This looks so good. I'm about to eat my Chick-fil-A and we're just gonna vibe out tonight. The green looks so good. I am like here for green eyeshadow. That's what yeah. we did last time for my birthday. Mm -hmm. But it, it just worked. So good. Guys, feeling like Cruella right now. We did the green makeup just like she did. I am obsessed. It's now time to put on the wig. I'm nervous as we saw earlier. The, the wig was tough, <laughs> but we're gonna make it work. So funny. Guys, literally what? <laughs> Back up. Oh my gosh, you guys. The wig, there's just no way to make it look Thank you so much. the way I want it, but Cruella is here. It's giving. It's serving Oreo. It's serving Oreo. She eats Oreos. Alright guys, I'm feeling a little silly, but the photos turned out really good. I think the photos are better, but that's okay. We're going on stage in 10. We're going, we literally- 10 minute warning. 10 minute warning. Thank you, 10. Thank you, 10. I'm gonna take a ginger shot before we head out. We've got the Braves on now. Dogs won. Let's go. And now we are going to head to Cipriani for the party. Don't really know what to expect, but really excited. 
Whew, all right, ginger shot o'clock. Cheers, baby. <laughs> the last night of Halloween weekend. Just went and got a bagel. Let's take it to the roof and eat it. Guys, I am in the best mood right now. That bagel one revived me, so that's big, very important. I'm looking at the Empire State Building right now. I don't know when this is gonna get old, but that's fine. Oh, I'm just so happy. Ryan just called me the Braves won last night, so that means if they win tonight, they win the World Series, so he's like so happy. I'm so happy for him. He's like living out his dream. And he was so cute. He's like, I miss you. I wish you were here. And I was like, oh, so sweet. I'm just like, I just feel like the world's my oyster today. And I'm really feeling the idea of kind of a solo Sunday, if you will. So I have a couple computer things to get done. But I'm almost wondering, I do work better at night sometimes. Maybe I should go have my solo Sunday now and then come back early. Yeah, I think that's a good call. Because I always do that. And then by the time I'm done with all my work, it's 4 o'clock. And I'm like, eh. So I'm gonna go downstairs. I already showered this morning, despite my hair looking so rough. Um, Cause I like had a wig on all last night, I guess, so it got all messed up. But I'm gonna go downstairs, put on some makeup, get dressed. I either wanna like take myself to Central Park and just vibe, but whatever it is, I'm looking forward to it. It's Halloween, happy Halloween. Last night was so much fun. I actually stayed out pretty late. I really didn't even drink that much. I just had a couple glasses of champagne. That's like my ideal type of night. And I got to meet so many people. Pilot Pete from The Bachelor was there, you guys. Um, who else? Oh, Food God, Jonathan Chabon. Um, yeah, a lot of random celebrity sightings there. Celebrity, whatever you guys want to call that. I'm gonna go enjoy my day. I know it's Halloween, but I feel like I've celebrated Halloween this whole weekend. I was, when I was getting a bagel, you guys, this girl had a headband on. It was like a knife in her head. And at first second, I forgot it was Halloween. And I was like, <gasps> and I was like, oh, you did spook me indeed. So yeah, that's the vibes. Let's have a solo Sunday. Did the trek back from the Upper East Side. It was such a lovely afternoon. I am so happy I did it. I just stopped at the grocery store. I got myself some candy because I was so inspired. I was watching all these little kids. I don't, I, I'm so, I picked the best day to go to the Upper East Side. I got to see all these little kiddos trick or treating. It was so cute. All these little kids in costumes. Like I haven't been around little kids in a very long time. It was just so cute. And obviously the Upper East Side is so gorgeous. And I don't know, everyone was in a good mood today outside. It's so crazy though. They would like 
walk up to a like a chocolate store and go trick or treat and that makes complete sense or I just saw some kids walk up to a liquor store and trick or treat and I, all the businesses I guess participate I don't know this is like city for me I got some random like I was craving something fresh like some fresh snacks I got snap peas cantaloupe and honeydew and then obviously the chocolate I'm not about to open this right now I don't know I'm really wanting something fresh I ended up stopping for a solo lunch at Serafina it was so good and I got a coffee like I was just enjoying it I was it was big main character moment vibes I just had the best day Central Park was beautiful like I just I'm just gonna go up there more because that was so lovely so I think now I'm gonna get some comfy clothes take my makeup off all of that and I put my sheets in the laundry before I left so I need to put them in the dryer so I can get in my bed tonight when I go through my closet I think I'm gonna clean out some clothes I have a video to edit. What else? Just like little things I need to do. Yeah, I need to get out of this outfit. I am ready to change. I don't have a couch yet. It's coming next week. But my couch throw pillows just came. So I thought I'd put them on my air mattress for now. I'll show you guys more in depth. I'm just putting them on here. Oh my god, that's so cute. We gotta do the karate chop. <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> Look how cutie. So these two are from a brand in Brooklyn, I believe, called La Coterie, and then the middle one's from CB2. Um, I loved these, and so Sierra, my interior designer, helped me pick these out. I wanted to keep super soft, chill vibes, and I this was my favorite one, and I wanted to get two of those, and she was like, let's do the same one, but different size. And then this middle one right here. So I'm excited, that'll look really, really good on my actual couch. And um, you can't really tell, I'm about to put these all together, but these are the throw pillows for my bedroom. Because don't worry guys, I love a good throw pillow moment. I just wanted to feel it out and pick them out. So I'm gonna put these, put these together, put the cases on. And these are from Serena and Lily. Yay, these pillows look so good. I can't put them on my bed yet because I'm still waiting on my sheets to dry but I'm excited. It's nice to finally have things come together. Got the Braves game on. If they win tonight, you guys, they go, they <laughs> win the World Series, what am I saying? So I have that on right now. I've been going through my closet. I have a little bag of clothes, new clothes that I have to hang up. That's like my rule. If I bring in new stuff, other stuff needs to go out. My mom taught me that and it's so true. Like you can't constantly accumulate things. Um, and I also decided to reorganize um, my pants area because I find myself reaching for jeans the most and I had like my jeans in the back. So I've got my jeans in the front and then I have like leather pants here. It's so dark, I'm sorry. And then back here, all just like my cool pants. I don't know. I'm gonna try this situation. It's annoying I have to reach, but that's just gonna have to happen. And I also, I'm Brooke and I are headed to LA on Wednesday, so I need to start pulling outfits for that. But now that this is all situated and I have some more room, I'm gonna hang up my new clothes because I have all of these hangers. Okay, I just put the game on mute. I planned most of my outfits for LA, so really happy about that. Trying to decide how I feel about these pillows. I think I like them. I think I just have to get used to it. Like when I first put that up, I was like, oh, I'm not used to this, but now I love it. I don't know, part of me feels like they're too big. I don't know, I'm gonna play around with it. But anyways, I'm gonna head down to my storage room and get my suitcase, start packing things just so there's not this whole little clutter of clothes. And I'm gonna just do some things and then I'm gonna head to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween weekend vlog. It was so much fun. I feel like this vlog was kind of all over the place in the best way. Like we, Brooke and I did all the working on that, was it Friday? Yeah, on Friday. And then obviously I showed you guys all my costumes. I had a solo day to myself. I don't know, it's just been, I feel like it's been a very dynamic vlog. So I hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. Get excited, lots more fun vlogs to come. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.